As we continue to develop our launch technologies, there's an increasing number of external partners who wish to not only understand, but also begin to G-harden their components for a unique launch environment. So Newman Space, it, it's a propulsion business. And uh, I think a bit uh, like Spin Launch, we see the rapid change, but also the great importance of the emerging space economy. And as much as launch has to change dramatically, propulsion has to change dramatically. Today we are at Spin Launch in Long Beach, USA. Uh, Newman Space is doing a partnership with Spin Launch so that we can test our propulsion system for fit in the S20 satellite from Spin Launch in their accelerating, uh, accelerator system. When we first started the collaboration with, with Spin Launch, obviously we dealing with a situation that as engineers we don't deal with very very often we're, we're talking 10,000 G's here and our system was not initially designed to take that so we had to identify the the areas of the design that were um, going to pose the most challenges in, in that environment and work out how to test them to do that we ran an ANSYS analysis on our existing design to identify those challenging areas and then from that we could work out where we had to uh, implement some, some changes. We identified there was a particular board uh, that, that carried a lot of mass that under 10,000 G would uh, potentially cause some challenges. We took the initial version of that board, took, brought it here to Spin Launch in California and put it in the tether uh, that they have that simulates that 10,000 G environment. After reviewing the results with them, we discussed a couple of minor changes to their system. Three of the key takeaways from that first test had to do with complete underfilling of the capacitors, a change in design philosophy around the load path, and the third one also had to do with string compatibility in the high G environment. We essentially, through an iterative process, increased the uh, epoxy adhesive within the system to underfill the capacitors, increased the board thickness, and, and a few other small fixes, and, and through that process, we were able to uh, achieve the 10,000 G environment. When you first hear that number, it sounds insane. At the same time though, once you delve into that analysis and, and start actually crunching the numbers and thinking about how things are going to, to move under that loading, you realize that it is an achievable number. It didn't take too much to adapt that um, to achieve the 10,000 G loading environment. Now that this is done, the next step is gonna do the full one new version of the Newman Drive, we call it the Newman Drive dash S for speed launch and qualify it for their accelerator and their satellites. We see that uh, the future of space is many, many launches, lots of vehicles up there, uh, lots of uh, need for propulsion. Uh, we don't see this as a sort of uh, uh, industry where we've got to launch every three months. It's got to be a launch every day. So uh, we're very much excited about the idea that we can make this happen.